Hey, good morning, nieces and nephews. Yesterday, the SPY closed around 550.95. It's currently around 551.19 as of recording this video, guys. In, in yesterday's YouTube video, I talked about the morning star pattern and how it's a bullish reversal pattern. It's a three candle bullish reversal pattern, starting off with a big body red candle and then followed by uh, a neutral candle. And then the third candle is usually a, a bullish one. And the way it can possibly start off, you know, it, it, start, it starts off with a gap up right now. SPY, it's a little above where it closed yesterday. So far, it's looking like it's going to qualify for the morning star pattern. But what happens at trading hours is going to tell the story, all right, of either bullishness, bearishness, or hopefully not, but possibly choppiness. All right, remember the levels, 552. We had a good amount of dog pool levels. Orders came in at uh, 552. We got 553.4. That's the fifth level. And of course, 555, which was the downtrend line that we had. I mean, the downtrend line, the bottom of the chart range that we had when SPY was in cons consolidation mode. All right. Yesterday, we back tested that area as a resistant. We found selling pressure. So bears going to need to continue to defend that area for more downside to be possible. The um, the 50 daily moving average needs to break down, all right? Also, the 20, but I'm more interested in the 50 because it's a bigger moving average, all right? Uh, dropping below 550 and taking out 548 would definitely be bearish follow-through. If we take out 550 and 548, bearish, more downside as possible, and all that morning star pattern talk, Go on, just forget, just forget uncle even mentioned it. If we break down those support levels, just forget about the morning star pattern. We never talked about it, okay? But if it breaks out and recapture those levels that I mentioned 552, 553.4, and 555, guys, get bullish. That's the sign that the morning star pattern is playing out. Don't argue with the price action, just go with the flow, just trade with the setups. If a setup don't go right, cut those losses. Remember. You cannot be a successful trader unless you become great at losing. Okay? Everybody focuses on winning. But if you truly want to be a great trader, you got to focus on being a great loser. That means cutting your loss, keeping your losses small. You got to pay the bills. Cutting losses are business expenses. Okay? Just like when you live in a house, you got to pay the mortgage. You got to pay the water bill. You got to pay the water bill. got to pay the heating bill. got to pay the electric bill. Got to buy the groceries. Those all cost money. They're expenses that you must pay. And if you don't pay them, you're going to be hurt later. If you don't pay the electric bill, you know, you know you're going to lose the lights. You, you might be able to go a little long, a few more days, a few more weeks. But eventually the lights are going to get cut off. You don't pay the bills. That is what your stop losses are. You got to pay the bills. You, There is no 100% in the market. Even profitable traders don't win 100% of the time. All you need. Is 51%. Okay, and if you do better than 51% and keep your losses small, great. But all you really need is 51% accuracy. That means it's 49% of the time you will you will be wrong. Okay, but if you're great at cutting your loss, you're great at risk management, you're not trading with your ego, you're gonna be fine in the long run. Just keep that in mind, all right? So that's the plan for spy triple Q. Uh for more do downside. Okay, 460, 458, and 456 all must fail. 458 is a fib level. 456 is also a fib level. Okay, no morning star pattern playing out if those levels fail. We are bearish and we're going to head down a lot lower. Okay, if we are to be bullish, 462, 464, and 466 all must clear. Above 466, I would favor a bottom is in. NVDA. Also look like a potential morning star pattern playing out. If that is the case, it must stay above 106, clear 108 and 110. Okay, clear those levels. That would put uh, uh, 111.5, 113, 114.5, and 116 all in play. Please add those levels to your charts because sometimes my levels get updated. Okay, got to clear those levels to be bullish, to be bearish. Break back down 106 to put 104, 102.5, 101, and 99 all back in play. Bearish, 
below 106, bearish below 104. All right, if those levels break down, no morning star pattern playing out. But if we clear, if we stay above 106 and we can clear 108, 110, and 111.5, guys, we are heading up higher to 113, 114.5. Above 114.5, I would favor a bottom is in. Tesla, whoo, bears really dropped the balls yesterday. They had momentum, they had possession. All they needed to do was break down 210 and 208 for more downside. They failed. They, instead, we got a bounce and a recapture, false breakdown setup of the 216 level. Okay, right now we're trying to gap up. We're around 224.6s right now, okay? So that means next resistant is at 225 and 226.5. If those levels clear, especially 226.5, we are bullish. Since 226.5 is a fib level, a recapture of that level would make me favor a bottom is in. All right. If it's pullback time, then we need to break down support. Okay. I have support at 222, 220.5, and 219. If those levels fail. 217.5 and 216 is in play. And below 216, I would favor a top is in, and I'll be bear biased below 216. IWM gotta watch out for a morning star pattern as well. All right, if resistant at 215 and 216.73 clears, bullish. And if we are bullish, look to long or look for calls. Okay, guys, to be bearish, 213 and 211.8 must fail. 213 and 211.8 fails, bearish. Below 211.8, I would be bear bias and i will go favor the gap fell at 28.5 or possibly even lower than that all right there is an area of imbalance all the way down to, to the um 198 to the 202 zone so that'd be cool if it gets filled but only if we break down those support levels otherwise we clear 215 216.7 get bullish all right guys thank you guys so much for being here i love you guys so much let's kick some market makers ass. Bye.